Things a little slow today, Murr? Yeah. How would you like an exclusive story? I'd love it. My fan club is having its annual Ted Baxter Bridge Tournament tonight. Oh, that's exclusive, all right. Last year, they couldn't find a fourth. <laughs> Mayor, would you like to play? Oh, gee, Ted, I would. I'd like to, but I've got an aunt from my hometown coming in, and I'm going to take her to dinner and a movie. Oh, well, why don't you bring her to a TV show? Well, I don't think there are a lot of famous TV shows done here in Minneapolis. Oh, wait a minute, Mary. I think you're missing Ted's point. I think she'd find it inspiring to watch a top-flight newscaster in action. I mean, not just reading the news, but uh, the inside stuff. Wardrobe, makeup, the way I make that fist before I go on. <laughs> you know, all that inside stuff. Uh-huh. Mary, did you finish that letter? Oh, yes, sir. I'll get it for you. What are you doing here? Just trying to keep up the troops' morale, Lou. Does he really believe that? Incredible. Here it is, Mr. Grant. Oh, thanks. Fix me a drink, will you? Can't fix his own drink. I'm not a bartender. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Murray! <laughs> Mr. Grant, there is an intercom. Yeah, I know, but I figure this way is more personal. Uh, you write up that story to the South American Revolution? Yeah, I have a standard story. I just fill in the name of the country, the names of the generals, etc. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. I'm going home and change my dress before I meet my aunt. You better. You smell like a distillery. <laughs> <laughs> a great distillery. <laughs> Yes, Rhoda, that's very thoughtful of you, dear, but Mary and I have the same taste. Good. <laughs> nothing, 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 oh, nothing. Mary, Mary, Mary you took that is really rotten. Ow, poor Mary. It's all right, we're going to get some. Mary, nothing that can't be rebought. Don't hold the closet. Sure. I thought you could buy it. I'm going to get a bottle. Oh, thank goodness. I told you. Where is he? Who? You made a phone call? 
I did not make no. the phone call. Who made the phone call? Well, she did you make the phone call? She dialed. Well, who lives no. here? Uh, she lives she here. I live downstairs. She lives upstairs. Oh, you uh, listen, you, you can you put the uh, guns away because about the uh, phone call, actually, we were just uh, kidding about the uh, gunman part. <laughs> you were kidding about a gunman? Hey, fellas, let's look at the positive side. True, there's no gunman, but there was a robbery. If there was no gunman, why did you say there was a gunman? She wanted you to come quickly. What else you girls do for her laughs? Turn in false alarms? Oh, that's me. Um, over here. I mean, I, uh, I wasn't drinking it. I just, uh, I spilled it on my person. Uh, would you like to see the scene of the crime? Uh, Tully, see what's missing. It's right in here. Yeah, check. Officer. I'm Phyllis Lindstrom, and I'm aware that all over the country there is controversy concerning the police. I just want you to know that I have an open mind. That's nice. Jackson, there's certainly a lot missing in that closet. Oh? Uh, can I have your name, please? Yes, sir. It's uh, Mary Richards, and I am the uh, robbed E. Victim. <laughs> Uh, Rhoda Morgan, sir. I'm her friend. Yeah. Officer Tully. I'm Phyllis Lindstrom. Oh, I live downstairs. Nice to meet you. Uh, we met in the in closet, the closet. Yes. <laughs> This is uh, Officer Jackson. All right, if we're through with the introductions, would you girls like to sit down? I'd like to ask Miss Richards exactly what happened. Uh, Miss Richards, exactly what happened? <laughs> I was robbed. Somebody came into my apartment and stole all of my clothes. And my TV. <gasps> At least they didn't take your records. That's right, that's right. At least they, they did not take my records. But they took my stereo. Oh. oh, gee, that's too bad. What time did this happen? I don't know. It must have been while I was at work. Oh, then you weren't robbed. I wasn't? You were burglarized. Uh -huh. Ah, that's a relief. <laughs> Continue your questioning. Mary, I'm going to get you a dress. I'll get you a better one. <laughs> when did you first realize that there was a robbery? A burglary. Uh, when I came home about 10 minutes ago and looked in my closet and noticed that there was nothing in it. Uh, is there anyone you suspect? No. Jackson, no suspects. <laughs> <laughs> this next question that I am going to ask you you, you may think it's a very personal type of question, but for those of us who have taken the exam to be a detective, as, as we know, it uh, has to be asked. Does anyone else have a key to your apartment? No. I didn't think so. Jackson, there's something very intriguing about this case. Yeah, I wonder what. Leave the detecting to the detectives. I want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, excuse me. Well, uh, be right. You always have to put me down in front of people. Only when you start acting like Ironsides. You're acting like Ironsides. Officers, I do hate to seem to be rushing things, but I really have to get going. Uh, just be a few more minutes. Jackson, why don't you check the window sash over there? Huh? Harry, here's a dress for you. It's brand new, never been worn. Oh, Phil. Here it is, ma'am. It has 10,000 miles on it, but it's just back from the cleaners. Can I get one on? Oh, that's the brakes, Phil. Holly, come on! Wait a second. Would you wait a second? I want to okay. see how she looks in it. <laughs> Officer Tully, you know, Bess, that, that's my daughter. Oh, Officer Jackson should be here. He would appreciate this. Bess came home from school the other day and she said, the, the, the policeman is our friend. <laughs> That's very nice. Uh, I'll tell Officer Jackson. You know what I said to Bess? I said, Bess, you are absolutely right. Gives you an idea of the fantastic conversations they have. <laughs> well, one thing's good. Mary won't have to worry about being robbed again. Oh, that's, that's not necessarily true. You see, many times they come back to the same place. Do me a favor. Don't tell Mary that. Mm. I heard. <laughs> Is that true? Oh, you look terrific. That's a great color for you. Thank you. Is that true what you said, that they sometimes come back? Oh, seldom, very seldom. And if you need any help, just 
you know, call and ask for 1636. All right, uh, extension 1636. Uh, no, no, badge 1636. Badge. I don't have an extension. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, my, uh, nice meeting you, girls. Yeah, yeah. totally. We'll have to do this again sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I hope your aunt doesn't think that's a maternity dress. <laughs> giving me the extra half hour. I think I got some really good dresses. Mm. Anything big happening around here? Nothing. The biggest story of the day is that somebody talked at the Paris Peace Talks. <laughs> Boy, you know, I never realized what a hassle being robbed could be. The man at the insurance agency acted as though he thought I did it. You said a claim yet? Yeah, I signed yesterday and got the check today Ugh. for about 20% of what my clothes were worth. Well, at least they paid off quickly. Yes. And then they canceled my policy. <laughs> that figures. They love you as long as you never have a claim. Hey, Mayor, did you buy some new clothes? Oh, yes. Oh, I bought a sport coat that color. Brings out my eyes. <laughs> Which one, the blue or the pink? <laughs> Start writing. Red China just signed a mutual defense pact with Albania. Albania? That's the capital of New York, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I've got to go watch a show on educational television. <laughs> Sesame Street. That reminds me, there's some really great television on tonight. And I won't be able to watch it. They stole my TV. Well, you can come over to our place and watch it, Oh, then. thanks, Murray. No, I guess I'll just stay home and have a good time listening to my records. <laughs> no. No, I'll just stay home and have a good time cleaning my oven. <laughs> hysterical will not do you any good. Well, being calm didn't do me any good either. <laughs> Everything will be all right, I... <laughs> You coward. Well, we'll need a list of what's missing. Everything. <laughs> a pattern's beginning to emerge. Yes, the pattern is this guy keeps coming back and robbing me. Burglarizing. <laughs> oh. Whatever you call it, when is he going to stop? I think he's about finished. <laughs> well, you still have your lamp, the sofa, and uh, that M thing. Hey, wait a minute, fellas. If, if this kid gets hit again, the Red Cross is going to have to come in with coffee and donuts. I, I saw the police car downstairs, and I wondered what happened. Oh, Mary, your apartment. Oh, I know. You. <laughs> it's your job to protect innocent citizens from things like this. Look, 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 look at that poor girl. What kind of a police department do we have here anyway? We're doing our very best, Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice any strange people around here today? Just the usual. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. As I was leaving for my Esperanto class, I saw a, a big truck parked right out in front. I didn't think anything about it at the time. Can you describe this uh, big truck? Uh, yes, officer. Uh, it was a, uh, a truck. <laughs> big. Phyllis, big. please try, because the only hope I have of getting my things back is if you can remember. So, Phyllis, if you could. It was blue. Good. <laughs> Good. Or was it green? I, I, I don't know. I didn't see it. I guess it was blue-green. Sort of an off-blue-green. Not unlike the color of my new hostess gown. Why don't you give them a swatch? Was there anything else you noticed besides the blue-green? 
Uh, that, uh, and the license number. The <laughs> license number? You wrote down the license number? That's terrific! Oh, no, I didn't write it down. I remembered it. You I... remembered all those numbers, all those letters? I just have one of those minds. Oh. She does. She has one of those minds. All right, all right. What's the number? B, B, seven. Seven. Seven, 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 seven. <laughs> Good. I'll put in a light for this uh, big truck. Jackson, put in an alert for that big truck. <laughs> a major clue. That's a, you know, to have a license plate and the color. What? Oh, Grace, we're really making headway. Officer Tully, I want to apologize for acting so emotionally before, and I'm, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, when you're studying to be a detective, you kind of get a sixth sense for these things. Hey, Mary, you know what you need, kid? A good night's sleep. <laughs> Why don't you stay up at my place tonight? You're perfectly welcome to sleep at my place. Oh. Or even stay in... Don't say it. <laughs> uh, uh, I am on duty. Uh... Why can't my partner learn to use the horn? You know what I mean? Just a little beep. That's all you need. <laughs> I can't forget the old superstition about bad things coming in threes. I walked into my apartment last night. I looked everywhere, even the refrigerator. Well, a little bit of paranoia is a character developer. <sighs> I haven't slept more than a couple of hours the last few days. I keep thinking he's going to come back and steal my sofa, too. Uh, look, Mayor, uh, I don't know if you can use any of this. We've had it around for quite a while. Oh, Mary. Well, practically antiques. Now, this is an alarm clock, and it's so old it has Roman numerals. Oh. <laughs> and here's a waffle iron, in case you have any waffles you want to iron. Oh, that's so very nice. Murray, that's so sweet. Thank yeah. you. Well, it was all Marie's idea. Oh. Morning, Murray. Morning, Lou. Morning, Mr. Grant. Mary. <laughs> I don't like the coffee it makes. <laughs> Maybe you will. Larry, will you look at this? This pot has never been used. He went out and bought it for me. Well, don't tell anyone. You'll ruin his image. <laughs> Hi-ho, everyone. I think you can quit worrying. The third bad thing just happened. <laughs> A little something to help you rebuild, Mayor. It's for your kitchen. Oh, Ted. It's an ice crusher. Oh, Ted, that's sensational. You know, I've always wanted an ice crusher, but it, it's the kind of thing you never think to go out and buy for yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is it electric or manual? <laughs> All right, so it isn't one of those big electric fancy ones. What's wrong with that? Calling that an ice crusher is like giving someone a match and calling it a barbecue. <laughs> here, Mayor, I'll show you how it works. You put an ice cube in your hand here, see? And then you strike it like this and... Voila! <laughs> I've always wanted to know what voila meant, and now I know. It means I've got a handful of crushed ice. <laughs> so you're some joker. <laughs> Thank you, Ted. The last of the big spenders. Oh, come on. It's the thought that counts. I know, and he has cheap thoughts. <laughs> Newsroom, Mary Richards. Uh, Larry? Larry, Larry. Larry Tully, Officer Larry Tully. Well, I'm fine, thanks. You did? Oh, that's great. Yes, thank you, yes, I, I'll, I'll be right there. Goodbye. That was my policeman. Well, Officer Larry Tully, they think they got the guy who did the robbery. I have to go down to the police station. Hey, that's great. Oh. Well, now that you know the guy's been caught, maybe you won't be so nervous. Oh, come on, Murray, I was never really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here, uh, uh, Richards, 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 uh, Mary, Richards, breaking and entering. Yes, that's me. Tully said if you got here before, I'm to wait. Uh, would you like a magazine? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, don't you look like a nice fella? Wanted for murder, assault, an armed robbery. <laughs> Triple threat. <laughs> you just can't tell anything about anybody by looking at them. Huh? You know what I do every morning? Get up and go over to the park and sit on a bench. Ever since I was a little kid, I've seen old men sitting on park benches. 
It's kind of boring, but I figure it's my obligation. <laughs> That's very nice. Uh, what are you here for? Robbery. Really? No. <laughs> no, I was robbed. Uh, burglarized. Uh, that's bad. A lot of that going around. Especially in my apartment. <laughs> Happened to me twice. <laughs> I've been mugged 13 times. <laughs> well, you, you certainly don't look it. Oh, I guess I'm just mug prone. <laughs> of course, hanging around the park doesn't help. <laughs> You'd think those muggers would go to a nicer neighborhood so they can make a better living. <laughs> yes. Tell me, have you ever been to one of these uh, identifications before? 13 times. You just go in that room over there and they line the guys up. It's better than sitting on a park bench. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have a pretty difficult time identifying this man. How come? I've never seen him before. That'll make it tough, all right. <laughs> hi. Hi. Oh, hi, Gary. Hi. Well, what do you think? How do you like it? What? Oh, congratulations, you made detective. No, it's just a new suit. Oh, well, you, you certainly should be a detective. Thank you. Uh, do I have to see the burglar? No. Oh, good. One, uh, one thing, uh, did he have hairy arms? Yes. I knew it. No, we, we just want you to identify some of your things. You got my things back? Well, we think so. How did, how did you do it? That's terrific. Well, I... Uh, Jackson and I had just come on duty, and we were cruising when we spotted the truck. And you recognized it from Phyllis's description? No, they had changed the license plate, but there was still something suspicious about it. They, they were trying to make people think they were one of those charity groups. Well, that certainly was pretty tricky of them, wasn't well, it? Well, it, it would have been, except for the name they had printed on the truck. The Salvation Navy. <laughs> <laughs> stupid, stupid of people. Well, I think you did a wonderful job. Thank you. You know, this man is a wonderful policeman. He really should be made detective. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> He's the same rank as I am. We can get the receipts for everything she takes. Right. My TV set! Your alleged TV set. And my alleged clothes! <laughs> oh, great! The rest of the stuff is down at the warehouse. Oh. Hello, Miss Richards. Oh, hello, Officer Jackson. Did Officer Tully tell you you'll have to leave one of your dresses for evidence? No. Oh, yes. Oh. Well... Here. Uh, no, no, that's my favorite. I want to wear that tomorrow. Uh, all right, take this one. You know, I like that one. Do you like that's that? Nice. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to startle you. I just came up to get my dress. I need it for tonight. How did you get in? Oh, well, I, I used my nail file. Uh, Mary, your lock is really easy to pick. No wonder you get knocked over so often. Bill, uh, couldn't you have waited until I got home? Well, I didn't know how late you'd be. Lars and I are going to the SCARD convention. Bill, uh, <laughs> what, what is uh, SCARD? SCARD. S-C-A-R-D. Uh-huh. SCARD. The Society of Concerned and Responsible Dermatologists. <laughs> Lars is speaking on the social implications of dandruff. Oh, that certainly sounds exciting. <laughs> Would you like to come, Mary? I've got an extra ticket. Uh, no, 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 I, I've got a date. Well, I'll get you two tickets. It's a double date. Well, I'll get you four tickets. <laughs> Actually, Phil, uh, the four of us are, uh, uh, are going to a large dinner party. So. Mary, if you really want them, I can scrape up 50 tickets. <laughs> Phil, there are 52 of us. So have a good time. Talk to you later. <laughs> 